beautiful Obscura. Obscura is perhaps one of the freakiest looking enemies that you'll be encountering in the game The Evil Within 2. Created from the mind of macabre artist Stefano Valentini, Obscura, like his other living works, follows the will of her creator, attacking anyone foolish enough to get in his way. Sporting a vintage camera for a head and a contorted female's frame for a body, this is one creature that you don't want to have taking your headshots. Unfortunately, we don't learn a great deal about this creature or its creation. Most of what we do know comes from Chapter 7, where we are going around and inspecting Stefano's two works of art. While heading to get the key for the work of art in the bar, the Devil's Own Tap Room, we come across the scene of Stefano creating his masterwork of Obscura. It's a flashback to the actual creation, but it doesn't really give us much insight beyond just how deranged Stefano actually is. Presumably, this interaction that we are privy to took place while Stefano was working inside of Union, and tells us just how much he believes it is a privilege to become a work of art. Don't cry. You're becoming art. You shall be part of my obscura. Beyond that, we know virtually nothing concrete about who this woman was or if there was a specific reason that Stefano chose her to become his masterpiece. Every other detail that we can discern about this creature is pure speculation. But, that being said, there may be a connection between the creature known as Obscura and the locations in which we are to appreciate Stefano's art, because she is mentioned or appears in both. Which leads me to believe that there may be a connection between her and these locations. Starting first with the bar, the Devil's Own Tap Room, it's possible that this is where Stefano met this woman. A document found in the bar does note several new people coming into town, which could be a reference suggesting that this is where Stefano would meet potential victims for his artworks. However, what's probably more interesting is the other location, the Sanctuary Hotel. At this hotel, in what appears to perhaps be the room of a luxury apartment, is a camera setup that is very reminiscent of the one that we saw in the puzzle in the lead up to our initial interaction with Obscura, perhaps suggesting that this is indeed Stefano's apartment in Union. The petals underneath the bathtub perhaps being a reference to the same method he seemingly used to incapacitate women in the real world. That being a poke from the thorns of a rose that had been coated with a knockout agent. The entire setup seemingly suggesting that like he did with Emily Lewis before the events of The Evil Within 2, he carried these methods with him into Union, meeting women and suggesting to them that he be their photographer, before murdering them for his own sadistic artworks, and that the women who make up Obscura befell this same fate. <sighs> Less malleable than clay, softer than marble, it really is the perfect medium. <laughs> oh, I can't concentrate like this. A sculpture doesn't mean a dummy. <laughs> All that being said, however, even with the additional speculation, we still don't know much about this creature. She is the amalgamation of at least two women that Stefano has killed and sewn together in a gruesome imitation of Stefano's love for photography, the three legs being a reference to the tripod that his camera sits on. Whatever you want to believe about this creature, however, it is undeniable that she is one of the most gruesome abominations to come out of Union. Terrifying and disturbing, this creature is the true pinnacle of Stefano's masterworks inside of the world of STEM. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 